Hello, today I'm in Northamptonshire for a Northern Premier League One Midlands match between AFC Rushton and Diamonds and Lie Town. Now the Diamonds currently are sitting in 19th in the table, uh, the relegation zone, and Lie are in 7th place, just outside the promotion playoffs. So this is a vital game at both ends of the table, so I'm going to go in, have a little look around the ground and do some more recording. Ah, food bank, nice touch. Oh, collections. Hi ladies, what's this? Uh, we're from Encompass and we support uh, the local homeless with food banks and shelters and uh, we're here collecting money today. Okie dokie, thank you. So I've been joined by AFC Russian Diamonds Chairman Rob Usher. Now Rob, I've noticed that you are sharing this ground with uh, Russian and Hyam since 2017-18. Uh, Have you got any plans for your own ground? Yeah, yeah, there's plans in place. Um, uh, you know, in the not too distant future, we're going to move to uh, our own uh, our own home, somewhere that can accommodate the first team, but also our academy, our pathway, our scholarship. Yeah, all yeah. The, Everything that, that builds Rushton and Diamonds. There's so many more teams than just the one that you see here on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a it's a it's a big community club, and um, yeah, we want we want the new home to be a real hub for the community and encompass everything that we do so well. Have you got a site already uh, planned? Yeah. So there is um, there is a site that's earmarked uh, for us. Um, it says plans there, but listen, we're always looking at. Um, Developing the best, the best area to to have the most influence on the on the community. Yeah, which suits yours and the community's needs. Now, it's funny you mentioned community because obviously, as I walked into the ground just over there, you know, there's some there's a food bank and a collection for the homeless. So that's fantastic. It reflects really well on you. And just finally, um, obviously, um, AFC Russian and Diamonds are a phoenix club uh, from the old Russian and Diamonds. Um, what are your hopes for the future? hopes for the future for me is that we we remain a fan owned club i think that's something that i believe in i think it's really important that's great um, by the way that's great yeah i believe um, i believe it's the best thing for community football it safeguards the future and my hopes are just that we um, we continue building the profile of the club uh, bringing more people into what we're doing yeah. and just continue to have a real positive impact on our local community. Okay, okay. Well, um, I wish you all the best with that, Rob, and uh, thank you for your time, mate. Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. I will do. Yeah. Why has the cost of my son cost gone up? They said it's complicated. So I called the people at Hamden. AFC Russian Diamonds kick off. Um, Player from left to right. Score prediction time. I'm going with a tight nil nil. This is what Mike reckons. He's on, he's on. It's going to hold up, is it? Oh! That's a good ball, that's a great ball. I'm a 
so sure about that. Oh, he's up, he's up. You might remember Joseph McCormack from uh, the Rugby V FC Russian Diamonds video I've done earlier in the season. Well, he's the uh, Diamonds commentator, and uh, he's going to give us his thoughts on his team's first half performance. Yeah, I mean, I'm largely content with that. Uh, I think coming off the back of the corn game, getting beat 5 now, I think to, you know, to come in 0 0 half time, I'm not overly disappointed with that. I think both teams had their chances. We could have had a goal or two when Cairo spun in behind and had that shot that went wide. Uh, Ruben White, with his effort just on the edge of the box, that he blazed over. But by the same account, live had their moments um, when they had the header from the free kick with. Uh, uh, I think it was Bridgewater. Joe Palmer's had a couple of snapshots. So both sides could have scored, which well, means it's probably fair to be level at this point. Yeah, the game's definitely a winnable win, in my point of view. Just one other thing. Um, I've been sitting behind you in the first half, and uh, I've been watching how you commentate, well, listening how you commentate, but also the little gadgets that you use to keep updating the scores, the tables as it happens, and uh, timing the match. How is that? Is that a bit of a brain fry? It's something I've got used to over the years. I mean, when I first started commentating, it was literally just focus on what's out there. But, I mean, we've got such a brilliant fan base, such a, well, nationwide fan base. The, the great thing about Russian Diamonds is our fan base isn't so concentrated to Russian. So, yeah. I want to give the fans, and me and the team want to give the fans the best possible coverage that we can provide. Yeah. So, to be able to give them goal updates, league tables, stats and facts about players. I've got loads of info about Lai, which, uh, well, probably lends to the fact why I don't have much of a social life. But, <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, no, I just want to give he ain't the only one over. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Joseph, anyway, thanks for your time, mate. Good luck your second over. So, off camera, I just spoke to uh, Lartown manager Grant Joshua, and he says it's the worst he's played, uh, worst his team's played all season, and he's given them a rocket. So, let's see how they perform in the second half. That's a tackle with intent. Five wide. Yeah, the support, the live town support is happy that each team had a shot. Straight out of the keeper. That goal has totally taken the wind out of the Russian sails, but it's still half an hour for them to get back into this. Where there's a will, there's a way. See what happened there, but he's given a penalty. Maybe some afters from the goalkeeper. Thank you. 
Yeah. It's hard to make, so I'll do it with a bit of a rush. But, uh, Oh, I'm checking out with you. Oh, no. Good debut, is he? Final now in the coffee, and I'm afraid yeah, for today. Yeah, I think. Good luck, mate. So full time, 4-0 to Lyre Town, and I've just been joined by their manager Grant Joshua. Now Grant, um, I must tell everybody, off camera at half time, I had a quick word with you. And you said it was the worst half of football your team's had all season, and you was going to give them, or you gave them right rollicking. So what did you say? Uh, we had some home truths, obviously what stays in the, uh, what's said in the dressing room stays in there. Look, we, we weren't happy at half time at all. Um, we've, we've asked for a reaction. Um, that's the politest way that I can put it. Yeah. Um, yeah. They know the standards and they know um, what they've delivered all season. So to dip below them at half time, I thought. To be fair, AFC Russian Diamonds, I thought they were outstanding first half. They can count themselves unlucky not to go in maybe two 0 up. Um, haven't tested the goalkeeper, but they've had some really good, uh, really good opportunities. Um, I like. Uh, I like the lad on the right wing. Tat. I think he's very good. Um, he probably should have put them one 0 up or two 0 up. So. Yeah, we um, we got into them at half time, uh, and we, we got the reaction that we wanted. So um, my sound is a dumb question now, but uh, contrasting emotions at full time. What did you say in in the sheds at full time then? Yeah, we just said uh, credit where it's due. Um, Criticised them at half time, praised them at full time. Uh, we got the reaction what we needed. I knew that we were a different team coming out the first 15 seconds. Uh, our press was was different than it was the first half. Um, Players don't like to be criticised of that. So no, no, no. Uh, neither, neither do YouTubers, by the way. <laughs> so um, coming into this game, uh, you started the day in the seventh place, just outside the playoffs, and this is your first season in step four. Uh, what are you looking to achieve before between now and the end of the season? Staying up was our main, ish, our main. Honestly, really? We, yeah, absolutely. Wow. We've we um, we we haven't got the resources and the budget that that some of the uh, clubs have, but what we have got, we've got. Um, We've got a big heart in terms of what we pride ourselves on. Yeah. Uh, work rate, uh, kind of our press needs to be good, as you saw, wasn't very good in the first half. We weren't very good. Our press was exceptional in the second half, uh, and we ran out convincing four 0 winners. So yeah, yeah, we'll um, we'll see. It's another game ticked off. It's another three points on the board. Um, I haven't looked at the other results. I don't know how they've gone. So. Um, We'll, we'll have a look at that back on the coach and, and then reevaluate ready for next week. Okay, well, it turned out you thoroughly deserved to win. Uh, thanks for your time, mate. Thank you and, very much. Uh, good luck for the rest of the season, right, Thank buddy. you very much. Cheers, mate. Thank Take you. care. Cheers. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, time to wrap up the vlog now, and I've had an absolutely terrific day at AFC Rushton and Diamonds. If this is an example of a fan-run club, um, I reckon more should be doing it. Uh, huge thanks to Chairman Rob Usher, who allowed me access to wherever I wanted, and I most certainly took advantage of that. Um, any ground hoppers, I highly recommend you coming down here. It's such a warm, friendly club, like I just alluded. Uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, that's for the game itself. Uh, it was definitely a game of two halves. Um, the Diamonds were, were the better team in the first half, but Lyertown showed their worth in the second and blew the home side away with four goals. Bit of a flat winning scoreline, but no doubt they deserve to win anyway. Um, on to next week, it's going to be uh, National Non-League Day, so I'll be doing a video from somewhere. Not quite sure yet where it's going to be, but uh, hopefully you'll tune in to watch that one. But uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in next week's one. So until then, ta -da.